Hello viewer and welcome to the Oracle of Atlantis. We're going to get into your astrology house reading at this time. So I'm going to pick four cards at random from the Heavenly Bodies Astrology Oracle to see which houses need your attention or focus at this time. All right, Scorpio, let's see what houses want your area or focus at this time. So we have house number eight, which is your house, Scorpio. This is the house of transformation. So what is transforming at you for you at this time? Transformation, karma, facing fear and legacy. Now we have house number seven, which is your the house of Libra, which is all about one's balance. House number five, which is the house of Leo, the house of pleasure. And we have house number 10, which is the energy of Capricorn. This is your house of enterprise, the, ener the energy of what you achieve, your outer reality. So goals, accomplishments, success, fortune, things of that nature. So what is the overall energy for Scorpio at this time? We have the energy of the trine. So a trine represents some sort of harmony, balance, angelic support, and perfect flow. So it's definitely a good sign for you, Scorpio. Scorpio, the trine also is kind of your energy. You may be connected to a watery trine, which could be emotions, healing, rebirth, cleansing of some sort. Your angels are so proud of the work you've done to get here. You've kept your heart soft through obstacles and let divine lessons shape you. Now you are a more authentic expression of your heavenly soul and you're entering a beautiful time of harmony. Instead of picking yourself apart and choosing pieces to express or suppress, can you embrace yourself as a brilliant whole? The more you connect to yourself in your entirety, the more you sink with the divine current that carries you. And as you surrender into this loving tide, life feels abundantly blessed, joyful, and perfectly aligned because it is. So let's get into the learning tarot cards to take a look at what is going on, the energy that is effect being affected in house number eight, the house of transformation, life, death, and rebirth. Now, your eighth house may not be Scorpio's energy. But the eighth house does typically belong to Scorpio, which can be transformation. It can also be um, connected to business as well. Business um, associates and relationships. Clarify what is transpiring in house number eight. So the transformation, we have the Four of Swords, the Throat Chakra and Jupiter's energy with Libra balancing. Fear, anxiety, stress, feeling overwhelmed, mental overload, needing solitude, relaxation, rest, peace, and quiet. Sanctuary, meditation, regrouping, healing, hospitalization, and introspection. Planning for the future. So if you have been sick recently, this could be what is transforming for you or what is about to transform for you. For others that maybe have been working and constant, like and really busy in life, this could be um, a time and period to rest. It may be a call for a vacation or just to spend some time in solitude, not really focusing on anything and just kind of recovering from the energy that you're putting out. We have the sun card with the solar plexus chakra. So on the pre on the pre-shuffle, I did see the sun card and the judgment card. So this is kind of like a, a rebirth phase. 
I shine my light on the world around me and radiance attracts more success. So we have the solar plexus chakra in the sun's energy. I can, the sun being connected to the conscious mind and the ego. Positivity, freedom, fun, success, optimism, vitality, joy, and confidence. Self-expression and good luck. Enthusiasm, happiness, truth, openness, and pregnancy. So perhaps um, you're needing a time of rest so that you can feel rejuvenated and reawakened here. Rebirthed from like almost like a mental and emotional state. So house number five, which is um, connected to Leo. This is your house of pleasure. What is going on in Scorpio's house of pleasure? I'm almost getting this house of pleasure. You may um, want to book like a, a deep tissue massage or a relaxation massage. Spa day. <laughs> that time to rest, I was kind of getting it from the four of swords. And to have a massage with that Leo's energy, the house of pleasure may kind of relax and ease tension here. We have the Knight of Pentacles with some sort of routine. So perhaps you like a routine. We have the heart chakra, Saturn, and Capricorn's energy. Patience, perseverance, unexpected sources of money or income. Time heals all wounds. Reliable, patient, and conventional, trustworthy, hardworking people. Someone who perseveres to reach a goal. This being in your house of pleasures, you might you may find um, routine like one of your actual pleasures, one of the things that makes you happy because it gives you a sense of like feeling in control, stable, grounded. Right, the Knight of Pentacles is slow and steady progress, not needing to rush ahead. Kind of working with what you can in any given moment here. Again, maybe taking that time in solitude once in a while. We'll bring about some sort of prosperity for you with the Ace of Pentacles connected to the Earth elements, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. A, fin a financial new beginning, new financial opportunities, new job, business, money, investment, savings, prosperity, security, stability, abundance, and manifestation. Some of you, this definitely could be the birth of a child. Just the Ace of Pentacles can be like a seed. The beginning, right? And on the sun card, it shows the little boy riding the horse. Of course, that's not going to apply to everybody. But this, um, this routine, slow and steady patience, just one day at a time type of energy is really um, kind of steamrolling your success here. So let's take a look at house number 10, Capricorn's energy, the outer house of I achieve, enterprise. So this could be connected to your goals, perhaps finances, business. We have moving on. The solar plexus chakra with Saturn and Pisces energy. Abandon, abandoning plans, walking away and letting go, traveling, escapism, reaching limits, self-analysis, self self-discovery, introspection, looking deeper, withdrawal, disappointment, and looking for the truth. Well, shit, maybe you just don't know what your goals or motivations are. Maybe something's changed that perception here. We have the card of temperance. So this is just taking some time to balance here. So just perhaps sticking to your routine at this time. Try not to fret this energy. Some of you may be walking very much done with a job and walking away. There was this kind of energy before I started this reading. Something to do with ethics. It's almost like if, if a job makes you do things that go against your kind of like moral ethics here. This could be um, almost 
too much sacrificing of oneself. So be cautious of that energy. I know my extremes and now I seek peace. Balance, peace, patience, moderation, and inner calm. Perspective, tranquility, harmonious relationships, soulmates, serenity, and compromise. Forgiveness, accommodation, and time heals all wounds. We have that, didn't we have that card coming out twice of time healing all wounds? So this is Sagittarius's energy. This is kind of a balancing, receiving and giving emotions kind of energy, channeling and working with one's um, emotions, one's own extremes here to um, heal and release anything within. Maybe even finding a balance after somebody has moved on from you here. But regardless, there is angelic support here. We have Archangel Gabriel, which is um, very much uh, an, an angel of finding balance and communication. So what was this other house? House number seven. So this is the house of Libra. So where your balance is at this time. The house of Libra can also be connected to romantic relationships. Um, usually a little more marriage and partnership, but also family and friends as well. We have intuition, the root chakra, the moon in Pisces. So this could definitely be a romantic situation here with the page of cups. This could be like young love um, or like new love, right? Love, comfort, kindness, intuition, a good idea. A sensitive, thoughtful, introverted, cooperative, quiet, dreamy, imaginative, psychic, emotional, or dependent youth. Someone interested in learning about emotional issues. This could be healing from um, past family issues, things of that nature. This is connected to the root chakra of I have with the moon of feelings and instincts. So that may be a mantra you want to work with for the root chakra. This is your foundation in your like pelvic floor or base of spine. Basically the root system that supports everything above it. Um, I have feelings and instincts. Now these cards kind of wanted to come out um, with this page of cups, but off to the side here, which is kind of beautiful because you have the king of wands, um, which is a leader. We have the sun in Aries with the third eye chakra, leadership, and the six of wands with some sort of recognition, victory, and success. Triumph, achievement, praise, acclaim, awards, Recognition, applause, goodwill, fame, celebrity, fans, well-wishers, supporters, crowds, being in the spotlight, and riding high. Loyalty, optimism, unexpected income, someone who inspires others to create achievement, an adventurous man who takes charge uh, and initiates many projects. So there's de definitely some sort of um, victory, recognition, or success here connected to the balance of your emotional relationships following your intuition i was kind of getting that energy too because there was something about triumph was that what it was getting there's something that was coming through the other day and i can't remember what it was i think it's in the bible but it's connected to the judgment card of the reawakening some sort of rebirth or next phase or cycle it's like when the angels what is it it's something about like when the choir of angels sings when you hear a choir of angels singing it's it's kind of like an angel gets his wings, but it's not. It's some si some sort of divine confirmation of being in the right kind of headspace on the right path here.
I'm just hearing, like, I'm not really hearing a song. I couldn't tell you what it sounds like, but I'm hearing, like, um, a heavenly song. Whether you hear it within the wind or it's, like, an actual song, but it just kind of pulls you in. We do have the trine here, which is offering to seek um, harmonious peace, right? And you kind of have are showing up with this energy of almost wanting to walk away. Or maybe somebody is walking away from you. But this is like almost standing strong in your own intuition and still finding that harmony and balance within your routine here. You may need time to rest and recuperate um, once in a while. But you have this this kind of steady growth. Angelic support, harmony, and perfect flow. So you are in the right flow here. So let's pull the Oracle's advice to you at this time with the spirit of the animals. the guidance for Scorpio through this trine energy. Best advice to harmonize the energy to make the best choice or decision. We have the links. Keeper of secrets. Take time out from the world and be the observer. Nothing can deceive you when you trust your knowing. You see others' secrets and keep them sacred. In silence and solitude, you will find your strength. We do have the underlying energy of the dragonfly of magic. I embrace my transformation. I courageously let go of the past. The magic of nature is in me. I am brilliant and I am blessed. So the links connected to invisibility, secretive, observer, listener, awareness, clairvoyance, patience, loner, ancient wisdom, shaman's totem. I also saw the like black panther or jaguar on the when I was shuffling which kind of has that very elusive kind of observing energy, kind of just watching from the background for a while. Lynxes are solitary animals that live in the mountains or in the harsh climate of the cold north. They spend much of their life alone, out of sight, and in the shadows. Lynx is the ultimate introvert. This trait is sometimes misinterpreted as aloofness, shyness, or arrogance, but this is not the case. Lynx people are observers and listeners and prefer the independent life. Those who walk with Lynx will have the uncanny ability to see what others cannot. This includes others' agendas, fear, hopes, and plans. Lynx have long tufts of fur rising from the tips of their ears that act as antenna, so Lynx can hear the unspoken word. If Lynx is your totem, you will be difficult to deceive because you are telepathic. You naturally live the life of a mystic. You cannot fulfill your role as spirit messenger if your mind is cluttered with the noise of a too busy life. Alone time is essential and secrecy is your medicine. Patience and silence are your friends. As a link per links person, you will find contentment and happiness in reflection and contemplation. Spirit is always by your side. That has that energy with the trine. I was kind of getting the water trine. So a water trine would be Scorpio. Scorpy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Um, the three elements, right? Like a fire trine would be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That's technically um, what a trine is because I believe they sit. If I'm not mistaken. Or no, maybe it's in here. I don't know. Anyway, 
I was kind of getting the energy of like a water time, which is more emotional, which is very much Scorpio's energy of life, death, and rebirth, right? So you could be very um, naturally accustomed to exploring the creations and evolutions of the mystic realm, so to speak, seeing things from perspectives that maybe other people don't. Definitely with the links, though, this is more about um, keeping the mouth closed and just kind of observing at this time. Because you may, even from this energy, you may actually get inspiration just from observing people around you. I'm hearing the song Don't Speak by uh, No Doubt. What is the closing words of wisdom for Scorpio, please? And thank you. This is the Avalon magic. It is in the silent pause that we find the answers to our questions. It is in the breath that we anchor our soul. So this four swords can really be a card of sleep. Um, but more importantly, kind of meditation, observe, um, observing, right? Breathing, maybe allowing the, the mind to wander and then following it and kind of interpreting it. Like, you know, what are you being, what are you being shown? Is it like a path? Is it something that you need to think about from another perspective within yourself? Jeez, you okay, baby? Choke on some kibble. Yeah, there's almost this energy of um, anchoring or deepening the breath at times. I have to do this at times when I have like, um, if I drink like too much caffeine and stuff, my, my heart rate starts to get going too fast and I have to physically remind myself to like, relax, calm your shit. You'll be fine. Maybe um, investing in some new routines or bringing new routines in may help kind of keep your area focused on your, your own journey here to have this balance and recognition. But yeah, that is the reading I have for you. I hope it resonates. I hope you understand it. If you do, please feel free to hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. That'd be greatly appreciated. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching and bye for now.